Carving a Giant by Gorgoroth. The first thing you need is a guitar in C sharp standard and let's get into it. The first riff. <laughs> starts off with an E minor and then you have this melody here so that's five on four on A then three on E then one on A and you want and you want to make sure that you're letting all of the notes ring while you're still doing that little melody riff there so the way you do that is to curve your fingers around completely when you're playing the E minor chord and still keep your fingers curved to let all of the notes ring underneath. Moving on, the next parts are just an E minor and a C minor bar chord. But you wanna have the E strings open when you play the C minor. So the tab will be 0355430. And of course, you wanna make sure that you're tremolo picking the root notes of the chord. So when you play the E minor, your tremolo picking the low E and then when you play the C minor you want to make sure that your tremolo picking the A string. And to finish off the riff because it's got an A ending and a B ending, the A being the first ending, B being the second ending, you play these two minor chords. The B flat and then the C sharp. And it's important to get the picking right as well because you need to slowly pick between the strings on the downstroke and the upstroke. And that technique is going to be really important for the next riff. And here's the next riff. It follows these chords, E minor, F minor, E minor, B minor. But here the picking is really important as well. Because you want to strum the lowest notes of the strings like if you're playing a power chord and then you just want to slowly drag the pick up the strings and to finish off the riff it's that B flat to the C sharp like before so the whole riff played slowly I think the most important part of this riff is the picking, really making the picking super smooth across the strings. And of course, chord clarity as well, because when you're playing these bar chords on the A string, they all have the open E string. And then you play the E minor chord with the open E. And then it's that section when the guitars ring out and the drums pick up. And then it all comes in with the Gorgoroth rhythm. Let's talk about the picking first. That's the strumming pattern for the next riff. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. And here's the riff played slowly.
So it's important to get the rhythm playing super, super tight for this because it's very, very easy to make this riff sloppy. So let's go through the notes. You first strum the E minor chord. And then after you do this. So you place your middle finger on the second fret of A and then you fret the first fret on E. So you get this tritone chord. And then it follows that same idea with the B flat to the C sharp chord. Remember, take it nice and slowly, really focus on the picking. Then the next time round, it's exactly the same except for the final chords. It goes from the B flat to the F. Second time round is mostly the same. Remember, it's an A B riff where after the first, after a first repeat, you've got a first time ending and a second time ending. So the same part repeats with the E, B flat, and the C, and then the last repeat of the riff changes. So again, same intro, but the chords change now. So you go G to G sharp. And again with the tritone part. And then it finishes from the B flat to the F. And here's the whole riff. Here's the next riff. So here's the first few chords, E, F, E, G, and G sharp. And the next part, E, F, E, G sharp, and A. And here's the ending, E, F, E, A, G sharp, A, F, E. And also the time signature changes to six. So you can count one, two, three, one, two, three. That's why it has this kind of swaying groove. Then it's back to the gallop riff. And then it's the ending riff. Then you want to play the low E power chord, then pick B, G, then D. Then you've got four chords, F sharp, G, G sharp, back to E. Then whilst that low E is ringing, you pick from the high E to the D. The last part's nice and simple. Two strums on the F sharp power chord, then you want to bend the first fret on the E string. Tabs are available in the description below. I did cover this song with my friend Afra, and we both created these tabs. Stay tuned for the next video.